Hello everyone, I'm Wes and today I have a new country for you and it is Turkey. So first of all, I just want to say I really like the architecture of Turkey and I really like the little crescent they put over the city hall just because that represents the Ottoman empires. Then today what we're going to do, we're going to check first all the units and after that we're going to check two buildings of the Turkey empires. So the first infantry unit the Turkey will offer us will be the sniper. This unit will cost 200 of food, 150 of wood and 100 of metal. The sniper have a special option to bury himself to be able to have more defense, more accuracy and to have a bigger range for his snipers. So if you click on that option that will take 10 seconds for the sniper to bury himself. Then if we make the comparison, the stand-up sniper can deal 30 of damage every 4 seconds at a distance of 200 with an accuracy of 2%, which really make that unit very unique. Also, you have a defense of 20% against 4 of damage, 30 of 2, 20 of 1, and 30 of 0. Compared to the sniper on position who can attack every 3 seconds at a distance of 220 with an accuracy of 1%, and his defense is really incredible. 65% chance of defending against 20 of damage, 20% against 10, and 10% against 2. On the field, Sniper will be very incredible because they will almost never miss a shot against an enemy unit. And that will clearly put them in a huge advantage against different infantry units on the field. The second unity available for us at the first industrial revolution will be the Mothar, who costs 400 of food, 300 of wood, and 600 of metal. The Mothar is very special because it can deal a total of 180 of damage every 12 seconds with an accuracy of 20% up to 500 of distance but with a restriction of 300 of distance minimum. That's make them very strong against units far from you and also for sieging or defending a base but as soon you will mess enemies with close range weapons or with fast speed your Mothar will start to run away automatically. Now the first unit of R2 will be the Zambrak. So the Zambrak if you click on it and you make him move I think you have some trouble with personality because look at that. He make the noise of a horse. <laughs> so for the Zambrak, if you click on the Barak, you will see of his cost is 500 of food, 500 of wood, and 100 of metal. So the Zambrak can deal 100 of damage every 9 seconds, between a distance of 50 to 220. With an accuracy of 25, he have a very low defense of 70% chance of defending against 3 and 30 of 0, with only 180 of life. But the reason for that is because he can move and shoot in the same time, and with a speed of 80, that makes him very hard to kill. The last unit Turkey have to offer is the light cannon. The light cannon costs 400 of food, 200 of wood, and 400 of metal. If we click on it, we will see if it deals 150 of damage every 9 seconds between 50 and 350 of distance with an accuracy of 15%. That made him the perfect candidate for battlefield compared to Mothar because with his short distance restriction, he can defend himself very well. Now buildings. So the cannon tower from medieval age of western Asia can be transformed into an altery tower if you click on it or you can also just build it by the construction menu. This one will cost 400 of food, 1000 of wood, and 800 of metal. He have the same stat as a Mothar, which means long range, he is very efficient, but close range, he cannot even shoot. The last interesting building of Turkey will be the mine. The mine can be improved to gather in total 40 metal instead of 20, which is a really big buff. Last navy unit which is available for us but not only for Turkey with every single nation is the steamboat. The steamboat is the new transport boat who can host up to 50 seat. Also you can make spawn some unit inside the boat if you want to create some or if you put the boat just beside the shore and your unit will automatically just spawn on the shore. On that guys, I really hope you enjoy my new video on Turkey. If you like it, please follow me. Also you have my Twitch link in the description. And on that, I'll see you in the next one.